Alright all, welcome to Lightroom Wizards. Uh, today is going to be a fairly fast tutorial, but I just wanted to quickly show you guys how to go about color toning a black and white image. Um, and I'll explain what I mean by that in one second. Now, very often when you do a black and white image, or you do your conversion, um, you like it black and white, just the way it is. Um, here's an image that I was working on earlier today, and um, just to show you guys quickly the what the original version looks like. Let me just kind of go here, go back in time. So here's my, my original. I actually like it in color, but I wanted to see what it would look like in black and white. And as you can see, many steps later, I've got a black and white image. And I like this, I do. But um, sometimes when I'm dealing with certain black and white images, I like them to have a certain tone. And what I mean by that is, even though you have black and white, you can have an image that has a little hint of a blue tone, a little hint of a sepia tone, or even a purple tone. And it can, if done right, it can add a lot to an image. Um, and the way I prefer to color my tone my images, it's very quick and very simple. So um, I'm going to show you. So once you have your black and white image here, you, you simply go down to the split toning tab here in Lightroom. And once you're there, we're going to go into the shadows area here. So in the shadows, I mean, there's two ways to do this. You can move the sliders, but I prefer to click on the color picker here. And now if you notice, if I click somewhere here, my image is going to change to a dramatically different color. That we don't want. I find for black and white images, you still want them to look, of course, black and white, but just with a tiny bit of tone sometimes can look really good. And the way you do that is if you go down here and just pull it a tiny bit up, then you notice right there, that image takes on a tiny bit of a reddish tone, even though it's still black and white. Here's kind of the starting point. Just drag it up just a little bit. And I usually find if you stay right along the bottom spectrum here, and just kind of pull that over, you'll notice my image takes on all different kinds of tone of still black and white. Um, a lot of people like a little bit of a blue tone to their black and whites. Now again, you don't want to go too extreme. It doesn't look black and white, but just, if this is zero saturation right here, you can see zero. If you pull that up just a bit, to about I don't know, three, four, five percent. And again, just find what works best for you for your particular image. This one here, I kind of like the slight blue tone. Um, I don't find the purple or magenta kind of jives that good. But I also kind of like a little bit of a more of a sepia tone, kind of more in the yellow to orange range. Um, Again, personal preference, no right or wrong, but very quickly you can kind of just play around and find something you like. So right here, I ended up with that. Here's my before. Here's my after. And yeah, it just takes on a little hint of a tone, and I like it. Uh, like I said, quick tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed it, and have a great time playing with black and white color toning.